Hello gals and pals and everything in between, it's me Lara and welcome to my channel. Today I came to talk about some future projects regarding Pokemon, but specifically the Pokemon anime. Pokemon has been part of my childhood for a long time. I grew up with the anime and even started playing some of the few games via emulator. But recently, I met a type of Pokemon content on YouTube that I really liked, and that content is the What Ifs and Anime Rewrites. What Ifs are like alternative universe, a small difference in events that create a new story. In the case of What Ifs, it's based on questions such as What if Ash was born in Nova? What if Ash won the Olympico League? What if Ash was sponsored by Giovanni? What Ifs are very interesting, and Ronnie Charizard's channel is definitely the best one on the subject. I highly recommend watching his channel and other channels that do the same thing, because they are really good, their contents are amazing and their what ifs are really really good. And the rewrites are, well, exactly what they sound like. A rewrite of the story, either because the original story doesn't live up to the potential, or because the writing is messy and a rewrite will fix the problems, or simply because the original story is bad and you just want to rewrite a story that is worth following. There are many reasons why rewrites exist, and there are several already existing rewrites of shows on YouTube like Ruby and Miraculous Ladybug. Both shows that I followed that I'm disappointed with the progress with both of those series for various reasons. One day I might actually talk about those shows and my issues with them, but for now, let's just focus on Pokemon. Pokemon is not new to series with bad writing. From black and white to journeys and even weaker ones like Sun and Moon. Although, I don't think Sun and Moon is that bad, I understand it's not for everyone, but seeing that some rewrites that I have seen of the series basically ignores the anime characterizations in favor of the games, doesn't make me much of a fan of those rewrites. Like, erasing Lily Sphere or Pokemon, or characterizing Luzamine as the one in the games, and even Gladion being part of Team Skull. In no way I'm saying that those characterizations are bad, my problem is that they are very basic, and sometimes I just think the characterization of them in the anime are much better than the games, or much more interesting in my point. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think the characterization of those characters in the games are bad. I just think the anime gives even more of characterization for those characters. Gladion is a much more interesting character in the anime. Lily has one of the best character arcs I have ever seen in the anime series, and Luzumi's means redemption is more acceptable in the anime than in the game. Seriously, she acts like a completely abusive mother in the game, and once she's defeated in the game, she just becomes a better person, like, out of nowhere. I never understand that ending for her character, and that's why I prefer the anime version. She's a busy mother who doesn't really have enough time to take care of her kids, but she still loves them nonetheless. She's just in a different way. And she also is leading with the disappearance of her husband. So basically, her character is a little bit more interesting in the anime, and is a little bit more believable when she becomes a better person. Because she never really was a horrible person to begin with, she was just very, very much being taken away by her desire to get the Ultra Beasts. In the anime, it makes more sense than the actual games. This basically just became a rant of how I don't really understand the hatred that is towards Sun and Moon. It's just my personal opinion. I don't think Sun, the Sun and Moon anime is bad. I think it has a few problems and issues, but I don't think it's bad like some people say it is. And I do not understand some of the different, like, yeah, I don't get the hate for the anime. Anyway, there are some seasons of the anime that receive rewrites either by fixing the writing problems or simply telling a story in a way that makes more sense or is different from the actual canon. In other cases, it's a complete rewrite of the anime as a whole. Yes, Pokemon anime rewrites also involve a general story of the anime, rewriting from the beginning either to include elements that will come later in the series or to tell a different story with new elements and even better writing. I have a few plans for rewrites coming soon in the channel, but right now I just want to focus on Pokemon for now. But you know what? I gotta leave this to you. This is going to be a short video just to announce the type of projects that I plan to do future in the channel. But I will leave this for you guys. What do you think and what do you do you like the idea of Pokemon rewrites and what ifs? If so, why not let them comment and say your opinions on that? And also, if you want me to make those types of content, 
tell me in the comments what type of content you want to see me related to those Pokemon Rewrites. Re what season of the anime was you want me to rewrite? What concepts for a what if scenario you want me to tell? We're going to let you guys to decide because I am having a complication to actually get to decide. I have some ideas that I might bring, but right now I will let you guys think for yourselves. And that was the video. I know it was short from then the last one, but it's basically just me telling you what is going to happen in future, to, to the future of the channel. And yeah, that's it. I don't have much to say. That was Laura talking. Until the next video. Bye. Bye.